Okay, here we're going to talk about distinguishable permutations, or in this case, distinguishable, distinguishable fruit loops, or what happens at the purple shirted nerd's house for breakfast each day. In this case, um, we finish our breakfast, but we set aside eight of our fruit loops, and of those eight fruit loops, three are purple, two are blue. We have a yellow fruit loop, a red fruit loop, and a green fruit loop additionally. And we say, I wonder how many ways we could arrange these Fruit Loops in a line and have that be a distinguishable arrangement. And the first thought for us would be, well, this isn't so different than the closet problems we discussed before, or a typical permutation in that how many selections do we have for our first Fruit Loop? In our first Fruit Loop, we have eight choices. And then we ask how many selections for the second Fruit Loop then? Seven choices, six choices, five choices down the line. So of course, there are eight ways we can arrange these Fruit Loops in a line. And while that is true, some of those arrangements are not distinguishable. For instance, I could just take the purple, assuming that we actually came up with this arrangement, I could just take my second purple Fruit Loop, put it first, and my first, put it over here, and I have the same arrangement. And that arrangement is counted in 8 factorial. That's one of our rearrangements of Fruit Loops, is just mixing up the purple ones. So the question quickly rises, how many different ways could I just rearrange purple Fruit Loops and end with this exact arrangement that we're dealing with here. Well, that comes down to how many choices do I have for my Fruit Loop in this position, and then this position, and then this position. So if I just took out my three purple Fruit Loops and could somehow distinguish them, how many ways could they be, ar be arranged? I would have three choices here, two choices, one choice, three times two times one, six choices. Well, in the eight factorial, we have included all six of those arrangements just by rearranging our purple Fruit Loops. That's counted in here. So we, any arrangement of these eight we have, we would still be able to take three times two times one rearrangements of the purple. Those are all factored into this eight factorial. So it stands to reason that we should divide this by three factorial. However, of course, we have blue Fruit Loops. I suppose I should have reserved the blue pen for my blue Fruit Loops. And I can get this exact arrangement again just by rearranging blue Fruit Loops. How many ways could I rearrange my blue Fruit Loops? Well, how many blue Fruit Loops could I place here? And then there, I have two choices times one choice. Two times one, two, and those two are factored in again to this eight factorial for every single distinguishable arrangement. We could rearrange the blues two times one way. So that is a distinguishable permutation, also often referred to as a banana problem because we could ask, if you were given tiles, such as Scrabble tiles, and we defined a word as any rearrangement of those six letters, such as anabun. So if we define any rearrangement of those six letters as another word, we rearrange our tiles, how many different distinct words could we get? Very, very similar problem here. Uh, we would start out by saying, well, we can rearrange the letters six factorial ways. However, we have three A's that could be rearranged and we would still arrive um, with the with the original b word banana in this case. 
by rearranging A1, A2, A3, how many ways can we arrange those into those positions? 3 times 2 times 1 or 3 factorial. Likewise, for the n's, 2 times 1, ways to arrange those. And if you like, we could even talk about the b, but it's a little bit less interesting as far as changing our result. There's one b, how many ways could we arrange it? You could certainly make an argument that's one factorial. And that is our distinguishable permutations, distinguishable fruit loops, or what we may refer to uh, and classify as a banana problem.